Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Top 5 Best 65-inch 4K TV. Starting at number 5. Samsung 65-inch. The Samsung Q80A is a mid-range TV with the look and feel of a luxury set. It's a great option for gamers or for folks who are just looking for a bright TV. But the Q80A's panel type produces very shallow black levels. This makes it a not-so-great choice for people who watch Blu-rays and stream content in a dim or dark setting. The good news is that, setting aside the subpar contrast, the Samsung Q80A gets good marks in other performance areas. Its quantum dot display creates a colorful, well-saturated picture. And it's capable of sustaining 500 plus nits of brightness in HDR, so newer content. Like 4K Blu-rays and certain streaming content, will really shine. Unfortunately, this comes at the expense of the TV's contrast. Additionally, a fair amount of light bloom is noticeable when bright picture elements clash with dark. Coming at number 4. Samsung 65-inch. The Samsung QN85A is a second-tier flagship that packs many of the same hardware and software features you'll find in the Samsung QN90A, but there are some crucial differences between the two. Like the QN90A, the QN85 features Samsung's Neo QLED display technology, which combines quantum dots with mini LEDs. The quantum dots allow for incredibly bright highlights and rich color. While the mini LED backlights give the QN85 a tight control over its contrast zones. Unfortunately, while the QN85A boasts some serious brightness, well over 1000 nits in HDR, its black levels are very shallow, creating a washed-out look during dark scenes and flattening detail overall. We suspect that the TV's panel type is the culprit. One specified features, including 4K 120fps support and free sync, making it a good choice for gamers. Samsung's new game bar feature is nice to have in tow, too, as it puts useful gaming-related information and settings into one easy-to-access menu. At number 3. Hisense ULED Premium. The Hisense U8G is one of the best TVs Hisense has ever released. Offering a blend of top-shelf performance and future-facing features for a far friendlier price than most of its direct competitors. If you're in the market for a premium TV but blush at the price of something like the Samsung QN90A, the U8G might be the perfect compromise. From a hardware standpoint, the U8G is a heavyweight. It's equipped with full-array local dimming, quantum dots, and HDMI too. In our lab tests, the U8G dazzled us, it's one of the brightest TVs we've ever tested. And its out-of-the-box color accuracy is incredible. SDR content, cable TV, and most streaming content, looks terrific on the U8G, but HDR content. 4K Blu-rays and movies mastered for Dolby Vision is its bread and butter. Simply put, if you want your next TV to showcase all that HDR has to offer, the U8G is one of the best ways to go about doing that. Number 2 of my list. TCL 65 inch. And number 1. LG OLED C1. The LG C1 is a stunning OLED TV with an array of future-facing features that will help maintain its value for several years to come. It's easy to see why it's our pick for the best TV you can buy right now. OLED TVs are known for their incredible contrast, and the LG C1 is no exception. It pairs a perfect black level with stellar highlights. Offering a sustained peak brightness of around 700 to 800 nits in HDR. Making it one of the brightest OLED TVs we've ever seen. When it comes to color, the C1 is a top-level performer, too. It features 100% SDR color saturation rec. The LG C1 is equipped with 4 HDMI 2. One inputs that all support 4K resolution at 120 frames per second, which makes it a great choice for gamers who own, or plan on owning, an Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5. 
In fact, the LG C1 is stuffed with gaming-centric features, like Auto Low Latency Mode ALLM, Variable Refresh Rate VRR, and FreeSync slash G-Sync support, and a suite of picture enhancements that can be found in the TV's Game Optimizer menu. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.